What's going on growers? You're back again with Donnie Greens and today I'm gonna to be doing a unboxing video, something new that I've never really done. And the reason why I'm doing it is because here in the world of my greens business, there are quite a few little gadgets and gizmos that we get to use and that are pretty exciting. So the one that we're talking about today is the GoV Wi-Fi Thermo Hydrometer. And I'm not only going to do a little unboxing video today, but I'm also going to share with you exactly why I'm using these. It's something specific in my farm that's going on and I'm going to be doing a big change that may sound a little weird with my lighting and that is going to be affecting the temperature and humidity more the temperature but anyways so stay tuned because I'm about to unbox this product right here show you all about it and then I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to be doing with this in my farm all right let's open this thing go v thermo hygrometer so it's basically a thermometer and a hygrometer. So this thing is sensing for temperature and humidity. And you leave these in your farm in different places and it'll get the readings and send them to your phone. It'll even get it on a graph and show you over time, which is specifically why I need it. And I'll explain that at the end. But they come in this nice compact little box. I got them from Amazon. You can check the link down below in the description. I always include links to all the different supplies and equipment I use down in there and I'll be sure to include these as well. So cute little box, they look nice, and uh, they're nice and compact. So let's open her up. Ooh, ooh. So we got an instruction manual, throw that in the garbage. All right, let's open this up. It comes in a little protective coating. Do you guys just throw your user manuals right into the garbage like I do? Never find that they're useful. All right, so once you take it off, you can see the little, come on. You can see it right here. This is the product and it has a little tab right here so you could hang it. That's the back with some information on it, but nice and simple. And then it has this little pull tab. So I'm gonna pull this out. Boop. Oh, and it just lights up. Oh, it lit up for a second, <laughs> but then it went off. I don't know what happened there. And then it comes with this little band. So that's nice. You can slip this right through and push this right through. And now you can kind of hang this anywhere from in your farm. Or that would be kind of interesting. Like imagine you were going caving or like on a little journey and you kind of had this on your wrist or tied to a backpack and you could see how the temperature and humidity changes as you went exploring. So. Maybe as you rise in elevation, as you're hiking up a hill, it changes in temperature and humidity. Maybe you go into the shade or into the sun and all that stuff changes. And you can see the actual difference mapped out over time. That'd be pretty cool. But for me, I'm gonna be using this for my microgreens business. This little thing was out a little bit. I just snapped it right back in, went right back in. Let's try to open this and see what's inside actually. All right. Back lid comes off pretty easily. There's three AAA batteries in here. And what I wanna do is get some rechargeable, oh no, sorry, these are AA. There's three AA batteries in here. And what I wanna do is get some rechargeable AA batteries. That way it feels a little bit more sustainable. So the batteries are in here. Hopefully they gave me some fresh batteries and not some bunk batteries. Hopefully this thing is working right away. So, you got the strap, you got the actual device, you got the box, which we don't really need anymore. Then you got this little thing and then the instruction manual that I threw away. So this says, less connect, share your creations with social media. Creations, what are we creating with this? I guess we're creating content around it, right? That's what I'm doing right now, duh. Connect with our active Govi community. Discover new ideas for using your products. Well, I'm already thinking about new ideas, so I guess this is pretty relevant. Download Govi Home app for new releases, user events, and more. Well, is that how we use it too? All right, well, I threw out the instruction manual, so let's download the app and see what happens. <laughs> All right, downloading the app. Looks like this is the right one where you can track and everything. Installing. My phone's about to die. What percent are we on? 3%, oh my gosh. 
We better go fast. Ooh, I already had this app. Interesting. I must have another product of theirs. Come on. Here we go. Let's open that bad boy up. Yes, we can use Bluetooth. No problem, pal. Manage devices remotely. Build a smart home. Unleash your creativity. Build a smart life. With co-creation. Um, okay. <laughs> can I go into the app, please? There we go. Gentle reminder. Reminder. Okay. Govi Home. Govi Instructions. Device. I'm going to hit that little plus button and add one. Let's see. Home Improvement. Here we go. Micrometers. Here we go. Boom. Oh my gosh, your password. Good thing it still remembers it. All right, start verification. Why oh, we always gotta be verified and secure, man? I don't got time for this, my phone's about to die. Two, eight, seven, two. Oh yeah, we're verified. Um, hello? All right, here's my product, I bet. Connecting, connecting. Any lights popping up? No. Device name, Wi-Fi thermometer, sure. Data refresh frequency. Come on, every 10 minutes. And I'll explain why in a second. All right, we got the Wi-Fi. Now you guys know my Wi-Fi password. How much battery do we have? Still 3%, solid. Connecting to Wi-Fi. All right, sweet. And now it's rocking and rolling. So we can see our temperature right now. This is reading at 74 and a half. And I have another temperature thing in here that's reading at 70.5. This one isn't as high quality. So I wonder how much they'll differ. That's interesting. That's only the average. Oh no, we need more data over time, obviously. Then the humidity, it's saying that it's around 54 average, and that's also saying 54, so that's getting the same reading. And then dew point, I forget what that means, <laughs> back to middle school science. And then VPD, that must be pressure differential, maybe? Anyways, it's cool, you could ex export the data right from here, and I wanna be getting some temperature and humidity data over time. All right, so you can see it by the hour, you can see it by the day, week, month, and year. That's really cool. And you can see how it fluctuates. And if we look at the graph, what I'm predicting what we'll see, if we look at my graph over time as I get this down to the farm, is that on a day-to-day -day basis, you're gonna see the higher temperatures during the day where it's warmer out and the lights are on. Then you're gonna see the lower temperatures at night when the lights are off and it's cooler because it's nighttime. Right now, my farm is fluctuating between 66 degrees Fahrenheit and 73 degrees Fahrenheit from you know daytime to nighttime, like I just described. And that's a pretty decent range. I'm not upset about it. I think it, it's been working well. The crops have been performing really well. But here's what I'm gonna do to try and level out that fluctuation across each day and try to just keep it a little bit closer to 70 throughout those daily cycles. And by the way, I got an HVAC unit downstairs to do my temperature. And when I turn it on, 
whatever temperature I set it at, no matter what setting I have it at, there's more of a fluctuation than if I have it off. So right now I have my HVAC unit set to dehumidify. Who knows how good it's doing at that because I have my other dehumidifiers working. But long story short, almost wish I didn't get this HVAC system. It was very expensive. But the fact that my farm is underground plays a big role in how it's able to control its temperature right now. The ground just stays very consistent in terms of its temperature once you get down deep, you know, a few feet underneath the surface. So that's playing a big role in controlling the temperature of my farm. So I love the idea of building microgreens farms in basements, under the ground, because you get that temperature control factor. And you may not even need an HVAC system. So. <clears throat> these daily cycles. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn my lights on during the nighttime and keep them off during the day because I use fluorescent lights. They're T5 fluorescent lights. They're rather efficient, but they do give off some heat. And I want that heat coming off the lights in the nighttime where it's naturally cooler. That'll help to bring that cool temperature up. And during the daytime when it's naturally hotter, I'm gonna keep the lights off to help bring that temperature back down. Now I think this should work and I think that this will help me to really see if this idea or hypothesis will work because we'll have the data. I'm going to put this in my farm and let it run for at least a week so we could see those daily cycles, see exactly what's going on. And then I'm going to change the lighting and then we're going to see how the cycles look after that, if they balance out a little bit or if they still look the same. So that's exactly how I'm using this Govi temperature hygrometer or thermo hygrometer to get data about my farm, track it over time, and then use that data to inform decisions, real decisions about my farm. So that's really it for now. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you get notified when I come out with more videos, including the future videos I'm gonna include about this. You know, this is kind of the unboxing video and explaining what I'm doing with it and why I wanted this. But in the future, I'm gonna give the results of exactly what I talked about. You know, I'm sure you're probably curious, will this little technique work or will it not? And how well will this play a role in the data? So I actually have two of them. I'm gonna put them in different places in the farm and I'll be sure to update you in the future. Also, feel free to drop some comments below. Do you like this type of video? I've never done an unboxing video. I figured um, instead of just unboxing, provide a bunch more context, which I did. So let me know what you think about this video. I love hearing back from you guys in the community. It helps inform my decisions and it's really just fun to talk with each other and hang out. So with that being said, subscribe to the channel, be on the lookout for future videos about this exact topic and check out my other videos. So I have a ton of useful videos all about microgreens farming, microgreens business that I'm sure you will love. That's it for now and I'll see you next time.